4D Opening Cookie Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I think is absolutely hilarious. I love this nail. I have been planning to do this one for a little while because I just thought it would... When I got this idea, I believe it was in the middle of the night, like most of my ideas come to me. I thought to myself, oh man, this would be so cool to do. And so obviously I had to do it. And I'm also traveling to San Francisco here in a couple days. And so I just thought, haha, this would be fun to do since I'm going to San Francisco. And fortune cookies, you know, if you actually look up the origin of fortune cookies, most of the time, most of the places you read said they, they're, they're just not really sure. But San Francisco is like the top hypothesized origin of the fortune cookie. So anyways, little backstory there. Anyways, I love this one. It is so easy to make the fortune cookie. You make it like you'd actually make them. I don't know if you guys have ever made them before, but it's so easy. You just make a circle and then you fold it in half one way. You don't actually like crease it or anything. You just kind of gently fold it and then you pinch it in the other direction. And you can do the same thing with acrylic. So you make it just like you would an actual fortune cookie. And then to put the fortune inside, I just have a tiny piece of paper that is glued on one end inside the little cookie that opens up. And then I just wrote B-U, like Y-O-U, B-U, Tiffle, because that's just one of those one of those sayings that has been around for a little while, but I just, I love it, and I've been trying to figure out a way to incorporate it into one of my designs for a long time, so I finally had the perfect use for it. I hope you guys like this, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. To begin with, I'm going to start with an overlay of a coral color acrylic. And the reason I went with a coral color is because I knew that I wanted to do gold accents along with my fortune cookie and I used a gold bead for the hinge. So I wanted to kind of keep a color that, or use a color that went with that gold tone, especially since the color of the cookie itself has kind of like a golden hue. Um, so I just kind of decided to go with a coral color since I think that that coral orange peachy color looks really good with a gold, but you could really do just about any color in the background that you wanted. It's pretty open. So just thought I mentioned that, that that's the reason I did go with this color, but you know, you can always, you can always switch it up. And then I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that the nail is nice and strong. And after I've got that and it's all set, I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file. I started out with a really coarse bit to remove any bulk that there may be. And then I switched to a much finer bit just to make sure that the surface of the nail is kind of a velvety, a velvety smooth texture. So now on a nail form backing, like I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to start by just making a circle. A circle of this very, um, I think it's actually supposed to be like a light orange color but it's almost like a light light brown light beigey brown just make a circle a very pretty flat circle of acrylic on your nail form backing let that set until it starts to turn matte and I'm kind of just gonna be laying here and wait and it doesn't take too long 30 seconds maybe and then see if you can slide your brush under one edge of it and once you can so just kind of give it a moment and then once you can slide your brush up and then start picking it up carefully fold it in half but don't crease that edge then I used, I'm using a second brush and I'm going to just, like I said, kind of pull those edges in, those two points in, and you very easily can fold a fortune cookie. That was my first attempt at folding one. I just thought I'd mention that um, in acrylic. First attempt at folding one with acrylic and it went so much easier than I was expecting it to. I was thinking I might have to do this a, two, three times to get one that looked symmetrical and looked like what I was going for. Very easy. So don't be intimidated by the folding of the fortune cookie. It's not as bad as it sounds. So then I just created a little groove in my nail with a very rounded little bit and then I'm going to be gluing in my gold bead so that the holes go so that the wire will go through the holes uh, vertically and so then I'm going to secure the bead to the nail with a little bit of clear acrylic kind of filling in the rest of that hole that I created around a dotting tool I bent a little tiny very thin piece of wire into a u-shape and I'm going to string that through the nail that's what's going to make the other part of the hinge and that wire is what you're going to be attaching to your little fortune cookie i temporarily stuck my fortune cookie to the nail with just some uh, poster putty which is also what i use to attach the nails to my brush cover which is a question i get so often what is it that you use well it's just a little bit of poster putty stuck to my brush cover that's it um then trim off the excess wire because my wire even though it's such a short little piece i really did have too much of it so just cut off any extra length you do not need much you just need enough that it's going to go into the cookie and not pop out then with more of your little i don't know light orange acrylic just cover up the ends of that wire just so that your fortune cookie is not going to pop off so just cover those up make sure that you know they're not gonna leak out and then glue a magnet into one corner of your fortune cookie it doesn't matter if it's the upper or the lower just pick a pick a point and glue it in there and then fill in around your little magnet with some clear acrylic just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. 
place another magnet on top of the first one that's in there and then mark the top of it with a with a sharpie or anything and then I added a little bit of white paint on there and I'm going to close it so that I make a dot on the nail with the white paint. So the white paint's just a little stamper so that you know where you're going to need to have your other magnet in the nail. Then with a pretty like a cylinder bead or a cylinder bit make a little hole in the nail that's the size of the magnet. Put some glue in your hole and then get your get your magnet in there. So kind of glue your magnet in so that the marked side that sharpie side is down and then fill in around your magnet again with some clear acrylic. So now to make your little piece of paper to make your fortune, I just have a tiny piece of scrap paper that I have that I was just sitting around and I'm going to be writing out be beautiful. You could write anything you want on your fortune cookie and if you wanted you could even um, glue one piece in and then if you decide a couple days later that you want a different fortune in there you could probably pull it out pretty easy and just glue a different piece of paper in there too. That's easily changeable. So I wrote out my be beautiful and then I'm going to trim off any extra paper because you really want this to be as small as it possibly can be. So you don't want there to be any extra any extra paper. So write small if you can. And so just cut off any extra, but do leave a little bit of an end on the front of it. And then fold it accordion style. So back and forth, back and forth. Just like that. So it's small enough that it'll fit underneath the fortune cookie without being seen. And then glue the end, the one end, into the nail under where the fortune under where the cookie is so pick it up and glue it down try not to glue any of the paper except for that one edge there so just glue that one edge I'm kind of sealing it down with my dotting tool and now I'm going to be adding a row of rhinestones along the top so I have a gold one and then two peach ones and then a little gold stud on the ends and I just use some gel sealer to glue it down you could also use nail glue generally I would use builder gel but I had I had the gel sealer out so I decided I would use that instead and then just a, a gold circle and a gold stud at the tip of the nail so then kind of open your cookie up and open up your paper and then apply gel sealer over as much of the nail as you can without getting any on the paper or any on the cookie. So just, you know, you kind of have to do a little avoiding game there. After that's cured, fold your paper up, put your cookie back together, and then fill in that little area that you couldn't get with the gel sealer before and cure it one last time. And that is it. This design just, I can't even begin to explain to you guys how much I love it. It was, I think I made eight nail designs that day when I was working on this one. And this was my favorite because it's just, it's so, I don't know. It's one that I've been wanting to make for a while because I've had this idea in the middle of the night, like I said, and it's been on my list of things that I really want to make sure I get to. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.